Hey there, this is Mark, and today we're going to be taking a look at a Python list object. More specifically, I'm going to show you how to swap the position of two elements within a list, and then we're going to abstract the entire process by defining a custom function. Sound exciting? Well, let's stop talking and dive into the code. All right, so let's get started with our script where we are going to swap two elements in a list. Now I want to get out of the way immediately is that we cannot use the keyword list at any time because Python uses this for a function called list which casts object to type list. So instead I'm just going to create an object of type list with two elements five and three and assign it to the variable seq instead. seq represents sequence which is a list. So I want to show you that this list can be indexed and the value of our list indexed at position 0 is 5. Now watch this move. I'm going to go shift command P to bring up the command palette hello VS code type in prev C to execute the previous cell command and boom I'm in the previous cell and my hands have not left the keyboard. Love it. Now I'm going to just go ahead and check that the value of our list indexed at position one is three and in fact it is. So our job now is to swap the element at position zero with the value of our list at position one. So to do this I'm going to take the value of our list that is currently indexed at position zero and I'm going to assign that to a variable. Let's call it memory. In fact let's call it mem for short. Now that that value is stored in memory, I'm going to take the value that is indexed at position 1 in our list and assign it to that position 0. So essentially we've taken the 3 and we've moved it into the place of the 5 and that's okay because the 5 is somewhere off in memory. Now we have one thing left to do. I need to get that 5 that is in memory and get it into position 1. So I'm going to take our value in memory and assign it to our sequence at position 1. And the swap is done. Let's go ahead and check it out. So if I now type in my sequence uh, seq and I call that, it returns the swapped elements in my list. It's awesome. So can we abstract this using a function? Well of course we can. In fact I'm going to define a function called swap which is going to have three formal parameters. The first is our list and the other two are the indexes of the elements that we wish to swap. So let's just go ahead and state this as a doc string. So we're going to tell the user hey swap element indexed at A with element indexed at B in some list called sequence. All right so let's just go ahead and make sure that well our function works uh, by uh, calling the help function on our function swap and essentially I'm just checking that I didn't forget the colon in my function definition. Uh, but we also see that we have some uh, help for our user as well. Now we can go ahead and define our function and what we're going to do is we are going to take the element that is indexed at position a and store that as the variable mem just like we did before except now we've abstracted the idea. Now we're going to take the element that is indexed at, indexed at position b and store that at position A in our list. And the last thing that we need to do is take the value that is stored in memory and assign that to the position B in our list. And that the swap is done now so we just need to return our sequence seq. All right, the time has come to test out our swap function. Now I am going to need an object of type list and I'm going to assign this object to a variable called my list. And this list again is going to have two elements to start and let's try passing this object of type list into our function called swap. So let's go ahead type out our function swap and now we're going to send in three arguments. The first is our list. The other elements are the 
to positions that we wish to swap. In this case, zero and one, and it does it. It swapped the elements in the list. All right, let's just see if we created a list with more than two elements in it. So let's add a few more elements to our list here. So maybe a six and a seven, and I don't know, maybe a four, great. So now I'm gonna go back down to my swap function, and I'm going to now ask it to swap elements at position let's say three and position four. So I would expect now that the seven and the four are gonna change place. And when I run my function, it returns the swapped elements in the list. So there you have it. We have created a function that is able to swap two elements in a list. My name is Mark, thanks for watching.